So we're gonna show how to adjust the internal glides on the carriage. They're probably the most important part for how this is set up. Um, so what I've done is I've got my internal carriage set up and I'm down at the idle end. So I'm away from the motor, I'm away from everything else. You really wanna get, uh, put that in kind of at an angle and then fit it in to get the adjustments that we need to. We're gonna slide it all the way in and we're gonna kinda tap around the corners and see what's loose. As you can see, these are all a little bit loose to varying degrees. So we just slide that back out and we wanna go very slowly. So I'm talking an eighth of a turn to a quarter of a turn at the most uh, to put pressure on these. So you're just tightening these screws down just a little bit until we don't have any play. We want no noise when we push down on the, uh, on the glides here. So that one's tight now, that one's tight now. We still need to tighten up these ones on the bottom. So when the carriage is at the proper tension, there should be some force when you're pushing it. You should be able to push it by hand, but it still should be um, a little tight. We want that friction holding the Tiger Stop internal carriage in place. Now, if you go just a quarter too tight, then you're not gonna be able to get it in. So we'll loosen that up just a little bit and then we should be good for this side. Then we're gonna wanna flip it over and do the same thing for the other. Okay, so that's pretty good. It'll move, but it's really tight. So we're good for that side. A little bit less. Yep, that's pretty good right there. So we'll go ahead and just flip that over. And now we'll do the same thing here. So. So it's just these top two that need adjustment. And again, we're gonna go real light turns. So maybe an eighth of a turn. The importance of this, why this is important is if you have one side of the glides or one side of the carriage that is loose and the other side is tight, then when that belt pulls, it'll actually cause the whole carriage to tilt and bind inside of the, of the Tiger Stop extrusion. And we don't want that. We want a nice even pull both directions. So we just want to make sure that we're good uh, both ways and that we're nice and tight here. So as long as you can move it one person, one handed, then you're probably in good shape. And again, you have no play when you've got that carriage in there. We don't have any noise when we're tapping on these corners. So that's how you tighten that internal carriage. It's very important. Probably a good idea once you have everything put back together to run back through boot diagnostics maybe run a drive test just to see how much force it's taken to move that through. Thanks for taking the time today to go through our video selection. We hope that it was helpful. If you have any suggestions, please contact us at service at tigerstop.com. Otherwise, have a great day.